right, we are doing a test stream right now, and it looks like we're going to go ahead and try and cast some games here for the Legion Spring Cup. Uh, right now, I think Group A has played their game with DRF Dive and Stifle uh, taking the top two spots. Legion Spring Cup. Uh, right now, I think Group A has... We're going to just going to go ahead and load up game one here. It's going to be between PT Hero and Magnath versus Renegade X. Um, before we start the game, I'm going to pause this and actually see to make sure that the settings are actually set up properly for this game, so we don't want it looking like a loser game. <coughs> Once it loads up here, I'm going to pause this bad boy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> no. How do I get out of here? Okay. We're going to do this again here in a second. And we're going to go ahead and load this game up. Before I load the game up, I guess I should send some messages here real quick. Make sure that this is all done and done properly. Okay. So, before we load this up, I do apologize. Um, this is my first time doing it from the replay uh, pack, so I want to make sure that I get this done uh, correctly here. And let's go ahead and start off with a little, a little music. Hey! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is JR now. Join out on the track here, kicking it off with another Starcraft 2 game. Like and uh, this is for the Legion Spring Cup. We're going to have Renegade versus Magnet. This is going to be a PUZ. And uh, we're going to start this off, baby. Like there we go. Let's try to do that first, though. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so... Best of three, ladies and gentlemen, on the... Bottom right corner, again, this is J.O. Arnada, join out on the track here, kicking it off with another StarCraft 2 game for the Legion Cup, uh, representing Ryzen, this is Renegade X playing the Protoss. Doom, 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 doom. 
And on the left-hand portion of the screen, we have the teal blue Zerg, a little bit of a fruity color, but that is okay because we don't know how good they play. We got Mr. Renegade X. PBT, uh, excuse me, PVZ is definitely one of my favorite matchups here. And um, right now, Magnath uh, appears to be doing a standard opening, although uh, with Protoss players, they're usually more encouraged to build their uh, pylon and their gateway at the natural. Granted, I shouldn't talk too much because I barely do that myself. So well done, well done, Mr. Magnath. Right now, Magnath is going to check in, seeing that the pool and the gas is already going. So the fastlings are what is going to be the choice. Oh, Mr. Proxy Pylon going on right here, and this will not be scouted when he sends his unit here. So let's see from Magnaf's point of view. Oh no, Magnaf does see it, and he still places. No, nope, wait. Ah, that's right. He goes back. Okay. So right now, what we see here. Oh. Well, right now what we have here is uh, Magnaf. Oh. I am still learning the buttons to this thing, so I do apologize, everybody. Ah. Uh, basically, Magnaf is building um, a gateway and two cannons at the natural here, and it looks like uh, Renegade X is not going to be able to take care of that. No, he is not. I do apologize. I totally forgot how to switch out from... Um, just observing one player's viewpoint. So I will try to figure that out as we continue to play this game here. Uh, right now, it looks like uh, Magnaf is going ahead and building up at his base right now. He's got a cannon building in the back, just to, or excuse me, building at the ramp just to make sure that the links do run by. They're going to be careful. Right now, we got to figure out what Magnaf is actually going to be doing out of this. He wasted a lot of resources on stopping um, Renegade X, and Renegade here is going to go ahead and try to take out that uh, probe. And the probe does recognize that the Roach Warring is now built, so excellent. You made another queen. Nice. I'm gonna just hit all my buttons here. <laughs> I'm gonna hit all the buttons and see, <laughs> see what I can actually get to observe. Oh, mistakes are made. A new queen has emerged. All right, so I do apologize. This first stream is going to be a little messed up um, just because I am trying to adjust the settings back again so that I can see both players. A little embarrassing that I know. Dun, dun, dun. Shit. All right. What I'm actually going to do is pause the game real quick and go to my settings. And actually, I'm going to keep this game paused just to just to fix a couple things here so people um, can catch actually what's going on. Um, one second here. I do apologize. Copy. And while I'm waiting for somebody else to show up, let me uh, do something here real quick. Okay. Glory to the day long. And let me go back and fix what I actually wanted to do here. I do apologize, everyone. Okay, we are back and f no, we're not. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch this again because I messed it up. I'll switch it back on the other game. I'll switch back on the other game. Let's go back there. So, no. Hmm. 
Okay, that's fine. So basically, we got to get a little bit going attack them right now. The Ravagers are going ahead and trying to take out the Protoss uh, Pylon and the uh, Robotics Blade, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I think what Magnaf is going to do is gonna delay the Zerg as long as he can while he continues. Although he's not doing much at home, um, he's focusing on. Let's see what he's going to be. He's going to be. I bet you he's going to build one to two immortals, get himself a warp prism, and then go ahead and start doing some drop play. Uh, right now, the Zerg is going ahead and going in and verify what's going on. He's going to go ahead and release some crows and vials, and little by little, he will be able to take out pylon by pylon. The thing is, though, the <coughs> shield battery is definitely doing what it needs to do to keep this alive. My goodness. <sighs> My God, he's going to lose a roach and a ravager to this. Wow. Shield battery hero going on right now. That mortal could technically go on in there and do what he needs to do, and the speed of this gameplay is just... I'm going to have to restart this after I am done. I'm going to let this game go because I'm trying to fix the actual speed of this gameplay. And not only that, I'm trying to fix the observer mode in this WCS format. And the options are not the way I wanted them to be, but that is okay. We're going to make it through this first game, and after we get through the first game, we will handle the business as it's needed. So right now there's the uh, Warp Prison, and it's grabbing the two Immortals, and basically what they're going to plan to do is just kind of get up on there. Excuse me, no, he doesn't have two Immortals, he has Immortal on Adept. Little by little, he can go in there, and I did slow down the speed too. My goodness, I have failed at this so far. I should not have touched it in the beginning. I do apologize to anybody watching right now, because right now that is something I do have to fix when it's, it is there. But... Magnaf right now has stopped the uh, Observer player, Renegade X, from expanding. Right now, Renegade X is going to go ahead and spill the boar, Sport Crawler because he's going to want to try to push out. But I really don't think he's going to be able to push out. He doesn't have much production. The, the drone count is very, very low right now. And, yeah, definitely not going to go anywhere. But at the same time, Magnaf is not... He's definitely not doing anything to promote himself here uh, basically he's not building anything he's not building a natural that he's really had he has him at bay right now and the zerg if smart enough will be able to overrun him although it does look like that's not going to happen because the drone count is super low as well on here here he goes going to couple crows by he's going to try to take out that immortal but it doesn't matter because the shield battery is right there it's going to just replenish the shield battery so not much is going to happen and again i do apologize i somehow slowed down the speed and i don't know how to I don't know how to increase the speed of this game. This is the vision of Magnaf right now. Oh. Okay, so I rewinded it a little bit. I do apologize there. So the resource spending right now is almost identical. My goodness. The Immortal right now is, I mean, not, this shield battery, again, it's not going to be taken out because I know that he's got two shield batteries to pretty much control it right now. Although that Corrosive Bob might take it out at this moment. Yes, well done. So he's got a total of five. I'll tell you what, two Immortals can do some damage, especially with a shield battery. So I think if the Protoss player were to do anything right now, he should go ahead and go off the ramp and do some damage. Um, goodness gracious, if there's anybody in the chat right now, uh, press the... Thank you. Okay, well, I don't know if I speeded up the game too much, but you know what? That's fine. We will fix it in the next game. I do apologize. Uh, thank you very much, chat. That was a big, big help. Uh, Magnaf right now is still... He's got four mortals going on right now. And, oh, well done, well done. Picking it over that. And honestly, right now, he probably could pretty much going to do these. Good, good micro with the mortals. He needs to watch out for the corrosive vials. Uh, building two more shield batteries on the bottom right now and making sure that he can keep these immortals right now. My, now, Magnav still has not expanded, so he's pretty much going to be going all in with this right now. The two, ooh, wow, a lot of damage on those shield batteries right there. He's got one, two, three, four, four, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, four Ravagers right now. Four Ravagers are going to go ahead and try to hit that immortal, but honestly, with the immortals are definitely, point. definitely doing well. Um, let's see. This immortal has one kill, three kills, one kill. One kill. And here we go with the links. He's got to be careful because the immortals do not do that well against links, but he's doing a well done job microing with the war prism right now. He technically can go ahead and go up that ramp again. The Zerg player did not really drone up much. This should be GG right here, even though he's going to lose one of those immortals. Ooh, wow, nice micro. My god, total of five immortals. Technically, again, like I said, he could probably go up there and do something. Right now, this is definitely an all in for Magnaf because he has not built a natural, not done any other scouting. And right now, he doesn't really need to. He's going in there and going to do some damage. It's going to be pretty much GG here coming up in a second or two because he is 
just working havoc with these immortals. He might lose one or two, given how low health they are. If he wanted to, he could technically go back a little and maybe shield better. Then, my God, that one dude, look at these low. These guys are so low right now. <sighs> wow. Well, well done. Well done. Gotta hand it up to this guy, man. Building more immortals, too. I mean, my God, it's like an army of immortals. I don't know if I've ever seen this many on the map before. It's gonna go ahead and take out that, um, Manor Hatch and uh, taking out the gas. Yeah, this is pretty much it. If I was uh, Renegade X, I mean, at this point, you might as well GG. What he should have been doing is building a ton of roaches with the queens to, or excuse me, a ton of ravagers to, to, with the queens to back them up. Right now, I mean, this is pretty much it. He doesn't really have to do anything. He could just stand there with the immortals, but he's still going. GG is called. Well done, Magnaf. Uh, the next game will definitely sh be a little bit better. I will not mess up the observer thing. So, uh, right now, the score is Magnaf uh, 1. Renegade negative. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of this game and jump into the next game. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So hopefully game two will go a lot better than freaking game one. And what I mean by that is my casting abilities because that was trash again. Uh, the other day was my first time casting in a long, long time. So I'm glad to get you going back in it. Uh, I would have been playing in this tournament, but I, I let Prime know every freaking night. He forgot to put me in. But that is A to the OK because we're going to start up game number two here between Renegade and Magnaf. PVZ, the map is going to be Everdream. All right, here we go. Making sure that I have everything correct. Let's go options, observer, WCS, baby. We're going to return to gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome one and all. Oh, wait, no, got the wrong person. He didn't win. Magnath won that first game. This is going to be a best of three series. On the bottom left-hand corner, we have the beautiful purple Protoss known as Magnath. Doo -doo. Oh, again with the early scout. This time, he is building the pylon at the bottom of the ramp, so that is definitely more traditional for the Protoss players, but on the top right, we cannot forget about this man right here. This is Mr. Renegade X. Breaking it down now. And um, Mr. Renegade X, I just do not think he wants to get caught off guard this time, so he um, hopefully needs to do a better job scouting and making sure that... Well, technically, no. The first game, he did scout that there was going to be a gateway there, but he was not able to respond to it as quickly as he probably wanted to, so the gateway has gone down for Magnaf right now. Down at the natural, the gas is going down. Very traditional opening for the Protoss player. As Magnaf go ahead and scouts the base here, he realizes this is very similar to what the first game looked like from Renegade X, so who knows what Will he do the same thing that he did last game? Well done skilling the gas, but I will say that's not necessarily necessary to do against the Zerg. You're better off to <laughs> look at that. It's almost like he's listening, but it's a replay. Um, you're better off to build a pylon uh, at the natural because that really does nothing to uh, delay the Zerg other than a little bit of vision there. So no big deal. Right now he's building a cybernetics core. The next thing that is going to build for him is the Nexus. Uh, some people do it differently. Neeb, for example, most of his game he'll drop the Nexus, then the cybernetics core. But then again, Neeb is a high-level player, and um, he can get away with doing that where... Uh, scrubs like me, uh, that's a definite no though. Six slings are about to pop. Link speed is on the way as well, with the first Zella also on the way from Magnap. So Renegade X is kind of um, taking the third here like he's got to because, uh, oh, he must have thought there was going to be a pylon being built there by the um, probe, but it does not look like the probe did that. I believe the probe must have went back home. I was not paying attention to it. Traditional things are going on here for the Protoss player. He's got a second gas going on right now. Go ahead and going to finish the close off right here in just a second. And his zealot has popped out. So he's played very safe. Ah, there he goes. He's found the um, probe hiding around. And I guess those zerglings eventually are going to try to make sure that there is no proxy pylon, which there's none on the map. But it's always wise to do that as a zerg. And the oh, 
he was able to wait to get in there and notice that the Roach Wand was there. So Magnaf knows that it could be an early Roach attack. So let's see what type of tech he's going to do right now. He has not built his Robo Bay yet, but what he probably is going to plan to do is just uh, probe up a little bit as um, Roaches, I think, would be a little bit away since the natural is not done. And he's got the third, meaning that the queen is not there to inject because it just got up there. So Magnaf probably feels safe enough to... Um, probe up and macro up as he wants to. Stargate coming out, very, very good call on that. And the Zerglings are just going to sit out in front of the base to make sure that there's nothing crazy going on because, you know, rah, that's how it works with PVZ. you got to watch out for the Zerglings. Uh, so he's only got one queen. Uh, where's the second queen? He is not going to be able to do the damage or macro that he would like to without having a queen there. Also has not taken his natural as well. Um, I'm not sure if Renegade X has a special... Uh, tactic that he wants to do another shield battery is going down for Magnav. He does have to be careful though because if he was to warp in a ton of crystal battles, although the probot here must have caught, yes, he just caught sight of what's actually going on. So, uh, what I was actually going to say earlier is if he had a ton of uh, Ravagers right now, he could take out that Artorsis pylon. That's pretty much it, but he was able to get in there with the Zerglings. The Stalker surround is happening. Oh man. This is going to be tough. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold this because the shield battery is low on the other one. And the other one is about to go on. He's going to waste all the batteries on that too. I don't know. This might be game right here. Actually, this definitely might be game. He could definitely take this shield battery out, which technically you shouldn't do. You should go ahead and go into the base and do some damage to the probes and the economy. So, uh, that's, uh, yeah, there, I don't really see him come back for that. Man, just that little lean run by with Magnaf not paying attention definitely took him out this game because he was opening up very, very well. Ravager's kind of playing games to the pylon here, but he should have came up here and tried to have done more damage. But then again, he is uh, quite ahead right now, and he's just going to go ahead and streamline Zerglings as he's building 14, 15 more, another couple roaches on the way. And yeah, the rest of this is going to go downtown. Oh, wow. Yo, did he not call? Oh, I was about to say, if this guy didn't call GG, I'd be like, yo, my man, don't be so salty. All right, so it is now tied up one-to-one -one at Magnath and Renegade in this best of three, baby. So what we're going to do is check out the next game and see what else is going to happen here. Let's go ahead and play some Chicka Banana here. Well done, well done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hopefully he can get better, you know? That's what I'm saying. Let's go. All right, let's get the other replay going on right now. So it is 1-1 Magnaf versus Renegade. I will say these players do seem to be evenly matched. I think the openings from Magnaf are probably a tad better. Um, although I'm not a Zerg player. Well, I mean, I play Zerg, but um, I'm not a pro at it. But uh, the one thing I've noticed that Renegade is not doing is he does not appear to be droning properly. And you can definitely tell that from the lack of queens that he's built in both of the games. Well, actually, the first game he built enough, but I mean, he was kind of forced to do that. But... Naturally, naturally, you definitely want to have a ton of queens at each of your hatcheries. But getting into the game, ladies and gentlemen, if you're paying attention, you got this beautiful purple Protoss. <laughs> Gender neutral? I don't know. Mr. Magnaf! And on the top right, not to be outdone, he did slip some links in the place where he needs to win. Give it up for Renegade X. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to go ahead and get this started right now. In this game, we might see traditional openers from both players again, as uh, Renegade probably wants to do what he did last game and have a nice... Oh, excuse me, uh, Magnaf probably wants to have a nice opening. Ah, very interesting placement. Okay, so I guess he does not want to worry about putting a unit right in this area, because usually... Most protests that I see like to block this, but hey, I'm all for uh, unorthodox. Right now, that probe is also scouting, and I got to hand it to Magnaf. Definitely an early probe scouter is really, really nice. I sometimes am not like that. I use that extra probe to bring in minerals, but then again, you sacrifice knowing what the Zerg is going to do. And for the third game in a row, very similar opening from the Zerg player, Mr. Renegade. I don't know if Magnaf is going to take that gas. Again, I don't recommend doing it because this is kind of pointless against Zerg. Um, and let's see. So we will see if he's going to build Nexus first or Cybernetics Core. It looks like Magnaf is going to go ahead and go for the Nexus first here, which um, me personally, I like to do. Uh, no, it looks like he's going to build a Cybernetics Core. Fooled me, man. Again, Probe has seen that um, 
the spawning pool looks like it is done. Magnaf is going to go ahead and throw down a natural. Um, and actually, I don't blame Magnaf for closing that off right here. Actually, that's probably a good call, smarter call than maybe closing that off and just using one unit there. But then again, to each their own. Uh, Nexus is going ahead and going down. He's going to go ahead and put down his um, natural. Renegade X a little late with that. I get, wow, this is literally identical. I think this guy only knows how to play maybe one way, which eh, is not the worst way. Where did that drone go? Did he fight somebody? What? Renegade X... I don't know if he's scared or what, but th this is definitely the better place to put that natural. So we will see. Magnaf uh, is, oh man, he's supply block, which kind of stinks. And that delays that chrono boost, which stinks as well. Um, but hey, it's all right. Because right now he does not see anything going on from the Zerg player, Mr. Renegade X. Uh, they did, it looks like appear uh, to take out the drone those zerglings so first thing that we're going to check to see is, is what are these zerglings going to try and scout and do um again the queen okay i was about to say is the queen in production yes it was in production all right here we go and the wall is closed off now officially the adept is there to play some uh, little uh tickle tackle games go ahead and chrono out some more the nexus is now finished being built good timing with a shield battery and a stargate going in i gotta love this magnav has a build down he loves it uh the roach warren going down excessively early especially if he's not gonna do anything with it right now right now this strategy does not seem to work out um he should focus more on droning up taking the actual natural not the third because the long distance you know he has no queen over there he hasn't started a queen on this side he's building a ton of zerglings he's gonna see if he can do the same thing that he did the first game which hey you can't blame him he was able to catch magnaf off guard a void ray being built for magnaf nice choice here um because you know even if he were to get ravagers um it's really hard to oh yep this is so this is what i said he was going to probably do last game if you can take out these pylons that's actually a really really big deal the thing is it has two ravagers which is not going to do anything if you're going to do this you need to have four to five ravagers minimum there goes the void rate and this is pretty much going to stop the whole attack one unit is going to literally stop the whole attack now had renegade x actually had a couple more ravagers this um Void Wade would have to micro a little bit. And as you can see, the Zerglings do want to try to get in, but they cannot do any damage necessary. And you're actually kind of wasting units there needlessly. I mean, this is kind of uh, pointless, Renegade X. I don't know what you're doing. This this is... um, It's okay, brother. You know, what you should definitely do is take a look at your own replays. Check this out. This, long, this is not the good call. The good call would definitely be to go here first and then drop the third if you want to. Um, Lost a couple units in that uh, mix up right there. The void rate is going across. You got two total void rays. Magnaf is pretty much going to be able to walk over and steamroll this guy because he's got no sport crawler. He's only got one crane at the main. He's doing a lair, but I mean, does he actually have the money to do it? He does not. He should have been uh, droning up. And again, like last time. Okay, well, there is the queen, but uh, this is. Um, the interesting thing is that he has seen that this uh, Magnaf has void rays, but he has done nothing to actually kind of combat it. he's only got one queen and this one queen is not going to be able to do anything although magnaf is not paying attention to queen he technically can take this queen out two seconds there you go so queen is going to go ahead and go down it's going to try to micro it's not going to do anything the other queen is walking the slow path of death uh trying to drop some chalupas but it's not going to be able to do anything the zerglings are coming in they're going to be like oh no void ray and these guys are going to be like wow this is uh, pretty simple guys you got no detection in the air ravages are your only source of defense yeah it's not going to work brother i'm sorry um yeah not not a bad you know hit from them but again the damage has been done no mining time is happening he is pretty much continuing his void ray production the third void ray is on their way and you can say that is gg the fourth void ray is that finished up right now and let's see a hydra den but again you do not have really the gas for it renegade x Ugh. you know it's always in hindsight man you look at the well, actually i'm surprised that Magnet backed off, but at the same time, even though you know you're ahead, as they say, when you're ahead, get more ahead. He's going to lose at least one Void Raid, which he really didn't need to. Oh, wow. Nice job. Well, that queen almost did what it was supposed to do, but hey, it's all good. Renegade X is going to lose this game, and he's going to... Uh, -na -na -na, -na -na -na. Yeah, why did I do that? There we go. Magnet is going to go ahead and take this game. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh my goodness, I did it again. Um, got a hand it to Magnaf. Uh, well played. Matter of fact, he probably would have won the second game had he uh, not let the um, Lings go through. Um, this game actually has was over like five minutes ago, but 
uh, Renegade's still trying to stay in and see if he can build maybe a few Hydras to do something. But at the same time, the Protoss macro is looking pretty nice right now with an additional one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven gateways. Let's go. He's like, listen, man, I don't know if you got a hidden base anywhere, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of some business. Uh, well done from the Protoss player. Well, well done. Uh, Renegade, definitely, brother. Um, I think this guy has the potential to have a little bit more skill, but his macro needs to be worked on a little bit. Um, you got to pop out a little bit more. Uh, queens at the beginning of the game, and if you're going to do this strategy where you're popping out roaches as quick as possible, you need to have more than two because, you know, you have anywhere from three to four, you'll be able to knock down a pylon super quick. And if it's only one pylon powering a ton of gates... Uh, definitely uh, would do some damage. And here come a ton of zealots to, uh, you know, just say, hey, I'm going to finish you guys off. And technically, these, these Void Rays can pretty much finish everything because he does not have much air defense. Uh, but playing super safe here. And uh, you can't blame him. You can't blame him. I might have given that Magnaf a win there prematurely, but you know what, man? We, uh, we're we realists here. and we, we know what the drill is. We know what the drill was it more balls and brains, eh, O'Connell? So, um, the Zerg player right now is probably just trying to figure out what they did wrong. Well, all you got to do is look at the fact that you built your third way over here instead of way over here. But you know what? Give it up for Magnav. PT, Mr. Hero, Magnav. Uh, pure cheer hero. So, uh, score screen, baby. So, well done, well done, well done. Um, I should have actually got the other replays ready to rock, uh, but I was not able to. So, um... Give it up for uh, Magnaf uh, beating Renegade. And uh, let's see if I have these other replays ready to go. I think there's one more uh, replay actually to go. But Magnaf did take that game. Uh, well done. Well done. Uh, you know, in these type of... Um, these type of uh, tournaments, uh, for example, the Legion uh, Spring Cup here. There's a lot of uh, players that I've seen play before, and other ones I don't know anything about. So let's see. Magnath was in Group B, and uh, his next matchup is either going to be against Scuba Steve, which is a Terran, or Mac D West, which is a Zerg player. Um, and it looks like Magnaf has proven himself pretty well against PVZ. So it would be interesting to see how his PVT actually plays out when it's time to uh, do that. So um, what we're going to do here is actually see if I can get these other replays to load, if there are any more. Let's see. Let me go back. Ah, yes, this is me. I want a girl with a mind like a Dun -dun. Alright, let me look at the scoreboard and analysis. Pew pew. Let me go back. So I'm getting another replay pack here, so just bear with me because I want to make sure that I get them properly put in the location they're supposed to go. All right. Oh, I didn't realize Magnaf was in the chat. Let's see. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. As he says here, uh, built second base or the third base both times because I blocked it with my probe. The thing is, though, I mean, it's a probe. You didn't put down a pylon. But Renegade X, I guess, got nervous. So he decided to just uh, say, hey, man, I am not going to deal with it and go elsewhere. So I'm going to get ready to load up these other replays here. Let me actually see where their location is. Alright. So one second. Let me see if I can do this quickly. Right now, I gotta actually find where I had it last time. Because that definitely messed me up before. Put up. Ah, you know what I need to do? I'm just gonna make this easier for myself. Come on. Yes. I wanna go with good 
So we're going to load up this game here for another couple uh, players. This is uh, Universe and Evalier. Evalier? Looks like. So that's what we'll do. We're going to do these two guys while we are at it. Although I do apologize. I was not able to actually change. Oh, bummer. I don't have permission to... <laughs> I actually don't have permission to change the title of the players that are actually playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the stream and then restart it. Uh, that way these games don't blend in with each other and people do not get confused if they want to see their games casted. Although it sucks because I don't have permission to actually change the title. Because right now the title has uh, Dive versus Dave Testa. So maybe that's something that somebody can fix on the back end. So let me stop this and then start the other game real fast. I never trust you. 